Hi, welcome to 20, 20 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. We're doing a whole series of different things this year and a series of different series. So this series that we're doing is an applique one. We're doing an in the playroom theme. So there's a whole lot of things going on up here. There's 20 different appliques in the series. And today we're up to applique number 16. So there's a picture up here of all the ones that we are doing. So we're getting well into it now. So there is a pattern available from GourmetQuarter.com if you're interested. And if you have the pattern coming, you'll have something to download and print that looks a bit like this with all the shapes ready for you to trace for the applique. So for number 16, we're doing a kite. So this is only a skinny one. All the blocks are different sort of shapes and sizes. Well, they're mostly rectangular but, or square. Um, but we've got some different sizes. Because sometimes you only want a skinny little applique and sometimes you want a much wider applique. So I've gone ahead and started positioning my kite already. So I've got these pieces, nothing's ironed in place yet. They're just overlapping a little bit so that they'll stitch in nicely. And then there's going to be a string with these little uh, ribbons on it coming down here. So th that could be drawn or it can just be stitched as we go. And these just need to go on. So I've got all the fusible web on. And I'm just taking the paper off now so that uh, I can fuse them in place. Nothing is ironed yet. So I'm going to be doing some free motion stitching on here. And so when you're doing something on a skinny piece like this, just make sure you're leaving enough for a seam allowance if it's going to be stitched into something. And I think that's looking pretty good. So I just need to get those ironed in place. Oh, I love kites. Kite flying is so much fun. We have a kite festival here just near where I live each year and it's really fun to see all the different kites. So I'm guessing this one is not actually flying inside the playroom. So I'm, because I'm doing free motion stitching it needs a stabiliser. So I'm just putting a lightweight cotton batting behind to use as my stabiliser because if we don't have a sta stabiliser when you free motion stitch it tends to want to scrunch up a bit. So. so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the string first so I'm going to go all the way down and then all the way back but when I'm coming back I'll go around the little uh, ribbons as well but I'll go all the way down first. I'm just going to start at the base of the kite here. It's just got a little loopy tail on the end here. So now I'm going to come back on that on that same line, or as close to as I can reasonably get. And then when I get onto here, I'm just going to go around these little ribbons or whatever it is that they are. I think they are ribbons that they hang on pipes. And then because we've on small work and I need to see where I'm going, and I need to snip that piece of thread out of the way. That's the beauty of doing free motion on small work, that you can turn it around to see what, what it is that you need to see and where you're trying to stitch. Slowly, you've got quite good control over where you go now and then it has a little mind of its own. And now I'm back to the kite now. So really the kite is very straightforward. So I'll continue on doing the cart and show you when I get to the other end. So I've gone ahead and finished the stitching on the kite. It's fun, quick and easy to do. So it's now keen to get into the playroom with everything else. 
pop it up here. So much fun in this playroom. So that was applique number 16 for In the Playroom. I will see you again with applique number 17.